goodness. That sets, that sets a long oh, way away. Goodness, David, great to see you, my friend. Thank my you, thank goodness, you. The world's most famous emergency backup. How are you? How was your weekend, by the uh, way? Uh, full of no sleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just running on uh, fumes. Uh, so that iconic shot now of you walking out onto the ice. Guide us through it. What's going through your head in that moment? Uh, I walking out. I felt fine. I got about six feet from the entrance, and uh, I said, "Just don't fall." I, yes, yes. I <laughs> fell in the outdoor practice at Nathanville Square because I left my my skate guards <laughs> on. So I just didn't want to repeat that in front of all those people. I would have walked right back off. And then, can you take us even further back when you initially got the call? Yeah, I was uh, before. Standing in the stands, just watching the game. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had a Reuben. He, he, my Reuben just finished up. Well, so you had some protein early. in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. So I uh, get down there and go get half dressed and sit there and watch. There's no TV in the little media room there. Right, right. So I had the app on my phone and I was watching the game and answered a couple text messages. Next thing I know, a few more text messages come in. Get in there, get in there. And I, I hadn't seen the goalie get hurt. So they said, uh, no, really, like you got to get in there. And so who's se who's sending? It was those a Carolina sections? equipment guy who came oh, in, wow. and wow. he said, uh, "Put your uppers on, man. You're going in." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Are you sure? Are you kidding me right now?" And he's like, "No, you're you're going in. Get ready. Take your time, <laughs> but you're going in." At any point during the entire process, were you like, "Okay, this is a dream. I'm going to wake up at any moment," or yeah. did you think of just running? <laughs> <laughs> if I had a ran, I probably would have fallen on the ground <laughs> for sure. Um, not that nimble anymore. But uh, I, it felt like a dream the whole time. It was definitely one of those things where you look up and you're, this is crazy. Yeah. You know, you don't even take it in. You don't even realize where you are. Yeah. You're just trying to focus on stopping the puck. So I brought something. I wrote this in December 1986. So I was 11. I went to a Leaf game and I said, and it says, uh, so when the third period came, both the Toronto goalies had been hurt. So they announced over the speaker that Toronto would have to forfeit the game. Then I went and played, and I got first star, made 10 saves. You made eight. So you lived a story I wrote. You lived Dan's dream. <laughs> yeah, you should have you should have done it. You made 10 saves. <laughs> I only made eight. <laughs> but you're undefeated in the NHL. That's true. We've got the 1-0 record. Uh, I'll, I'll take it any day. So I know you're a Leaf fan, obviously. But after the way you embarrassed them on Saturday night, <laughs> can you honestly cheer for this team anymore? <laughs> Uh, definitely have to. I got some good friends on that team and, and in the organization, so I definitely have to cheer them on for sure. So your phone's been blowing up. Mm -hmm. What's the the strangest text you've got, and maybe from the the most famous person that's texted you? Guide us through those. Um, yeah, I had a Dallas Eakins text me this morning. Said, uh, "Great to see me going, an ex Marley guy." And he was uh, obviously the coach for sure. the first yeah. uh, time I was with the Marleys. He was great. And Don Waddell texted me from Carolina. And he said he wanted to wait until the morning because he knew my phone was blowing up. So he sent me a nice message today, and he said he was, you know, glad to come that I'm coming down there to see him. Uh, actually, I got a voice message from Doug Ford today too. So <laughs> on the way here. All right. So, yeah. Yeah, Good to know he's working on a Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. It's pretty cool. Um, speaking of Carolina. Uh, are we going to be leading the storm surge at one point? Uh, Do we know what we're going to be doing down there? I have Dropping no a idea. Puck? I'm going down there. Hopefully I can drop the puck. They actually have my puck from last night. They're going to oh, put wow. it in a frame, and hopefully I'll get it when I'm down there. But that would be pretty cool, dropping the puck there. You've done two things that I think almost every Canadian wants to do in their life. Playing an NHL game and drive a Zamboni. <laughs> Everyone wants to drive a Zamboni. <laughs> it's true. It's absolutely true. People... Little kids always want to, can we get on a picture on the Zamboni? <laughs> yeah. All the time. It's the best feeling, actually, when you put a small kid on there and you see the smile on their faces. It's kind of like the smile on my face last night, I guess. But what do you think people are gauging more, your play in net or your Zamboni drive? Because every person in Canada, you watch the Zamboni, oh, he missed a spot. Yeah. Missed a spot. I like perfection when I'm driving the Zamboni. If I miss a spot, I'm going to go back and pick that up. Yeah. But, talk, uh, now talk to us about uh, after the game, Rod Brindamore gives this great speech. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just love the shot of you coming into that dressing room. Like you might, The weight of the world must have been off your shoulders at that point. Yeah, I just did a quick interview uh, right before that, and they said, let's go, get in here, get in here. And I had no clue what was going on. Next thing you know, they're showering <laughs> with whatever, water and Gatorade and whatnot. And uh, they were so happy. They were cheering. And, it was it was awesome. Like they clinched a playoff spot or something like that when they yeah. when they were cheering. It was and, it was great. And you talked about uh, the players and how supportive. Uh, didn't someone say, "Let in ten, just yep. have fun." Yep. After the second goal, he comes up to me and he says, "Man, relax. This is your moment. Take it all in. Yeah. If you let in ten goals, who cares? Just relax and have fun with it." 
It was your moment, and it was also uh, your wife Sarah's moment because she's now Twitter famous uh, <laughs> yeah. after her amazing tweet, which I think, like, I mean, that pretty much would sum up any spouse's thought at that moment, right? Yeah, yeah. She she loves her Twitter, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now uh, you have to leave here, and where are you going? I'm going to New York tonight, and I'm going to do a few things tomorrow morning, and then head to Carolina after that. So. Oh, okay, now, um, before we let you go, and, I mean, this is your time to, to capitalize. You have a goalie academy. Yeah, I actually just started my own goalie school after all these years of kind of doing private stuff, but it's uh, Ayers Goalie Academy. Uh, I have a page on Facebook, and it's, it's good. I like to do the one-on-one -on -one sessions or small group sessions with all the kids, so hopefully uh, this will reach some people and get work with I some think young kids. To I, think I think you're going to get some yeah. higher enrollment. <laughs> That's great. Okay, you got to catch a flight. We got to yeah. go back to our We got to go back to the other studio. Yeah. David, okay. thank you Thanks so much. much. Don't okay. move. Okay. We'll be here. Safe. <laughs>